Yeah, most of us lived our life or living our life according to the thoughts of today, the emotions of the day, like a collection of thoughts, emotions and experiences. I was so moody today and you know it happened to me because yesterday yeah and also and we have like a whole story a bunch of stories that we accumulate over the years of why we are feeling right now what we're feeling right now and every day is different but attached to the same story and it's just expanding like a story of our life is just endless mm -hmm. a collection of thoughts and emotions and experiences to base our life in this way is total confusion. It's total vagueness. It's living on, um, you know, in, in, in ups and downs. One day, or even one moment, let's a day to be happy is kind of a lot, right? So one moment to be just experiencing happiness, so great um, relief, and and then the next moment a down. And I'm like, oh, I'm feeling, I don't know what happened. I woke up so happy and now I feel so sad. And like, what happened? And then we start to think about it. Mm, maybe it's my karma. Maybe it's my pain body. Maybe it's my ego. Maybe it's my family. Maybe, maybe it's my partner. Maybe it's my children. So, so we, we are looking for the causes for the effect. Right? Why we are feeling sad. And it can be also in a positive way. We, we're having the most blissful experience. Like for, let's say, for five minutes. It's amazing. Everything is just so amazing. We feel so calm and relaxed and our mind is kind of empty of thoughts and emotions. And we are, everyone looking so beautiful. We are truly in love. And we are looking for the cause for this experience. What is the cause? Maybe it's that person. Maybe it's the connection we have. Maybe it's the physical touch. Maybe it's India. No, maybe, maybe it's me. Hmm. No. And again, looking for the cause, for the special state we're having. And then when we are losing it, it's really embarrassing, right? So <laughs> embarrassing for ourselves, we are disappointed. We feel like, okay, <laughs> I was really in an amazing state and I, I spoke about it with everyone, but right now it's like, I'm kind of pretending. I'm, I'm speaking about it like as a memory, like a beautiful memory. Yesterday, you know, yesterday I had this amazing experience and everything was just the colors I saw. Wow, really beautiful. And yeah, it happened yesterday and I'm sure it's because of this and that. And, speaking about again our thoughts and emotions trying to hold them in place believing they have some kind of power independent nature that we need to look for it until we find it we are looking and looking and looking and looking and where we are looking in our thoughts and emotions in our feelings and sensations that's where we are finding that we find it <laughs> you see we continue looking and, we, and it's an endless looking, looking, looking. And it's really tiring. I mean, I'm already feeling like the tension of that because we really want to find <laughs> what is it, <laughs> right? So to be introduced to the nature of our mind is just so direct. It's so simple. It's so profound, powerful. It's everything we ever wanted. And it's right here. But don't try to hold it into this moment, okay? Because it's everything. But to be introduced to the nature of our mind, stop thinking for a moment. And recognize what remains. There is an openness, alertness, the power to know. This is open intelligence. This is awareness. Thoughts are coming in right now emotions and sensations, these are open intelligence too. Inseparable from open intelligence. Open intelligence at the basis of everything we experience, everything we are thinking, everything we are feeling. And at the same time, inseparable from them. Like the color blue in the sky, like the breeze in the air, inseparable 
thoughts and emotions, sensations, other experiences inseparable from the vastness of open intelligence. Our own mind, our mind is inseparable from open intelligence. You see, we cannot really uh, <laughs> control our thoughts and emotions. It's, it's just impossible. Try to control the next moment. Try to, okay, let's try to be in the now. Just, just for fun, okay? Let's be in the now. <laughs> Even that is fleeting. We can laugh. We can laugh in relief, you know, not laugh in a kind of disappointment of all. I couldn't hold the now in place. No, you can be just totally happy for that, of not being able to hold on to anything, yet being grounded in the recognition of open intelligence, that's the constant. And how do we recognize it always, at all times? That's the practice, and it's a very powerful practice. As simple as it sounds, it's very powerful and profound, because it's not so easy sometimes to allow everything to be as it is, right? We want to get rid of what we're feeling and thinking, because it's not me, or I don't want to have this mood, I don't want to be tired. I don't want to think about it. it, makes me feel so bad about myself and others. So we're trying to get rid of all this kind of flow of sensations, emotion, again the collection that we don't like so much. But here we have the opportunity to rest naturally for a short moment. You know, short moment, just short. <laughs> hey, hmm? open intelligence is present. A short moment of complete relaxation, just as we are allowing everything to be as it is, just for a brief moment, and repeating this recognition again. It's an instinctive recognition, you see? It's not something to think of. So it's a recognition that comes with complete relaxation. Resting body, mind, inseparable of what we're thinking, we can do it right now. Resting naturally, just like that. And repeating that again and again, whenever we remember to do so in a very effortless way, natural, not contrived way. You know, contrived is the way we are familiar with <laughs> when we are trying to contrive and cultivate some kind of uh, state we are in. Enter into the body of a relax, relaxed person, being a positive person, thinking positive, that's pretending. It's, it's not the reality as it is. Reality as it is, is everything. You see, whatever we're feeling and thinking and sensing, but for brief moment, for short moments of open intelligence, we recognize our stability, our clarity, <clears throat> that never leaves us, never leaves us when we're thinking bad thoughts. You see, it never leaves us when we have really bad memory from the past. It never leaves us also when we are so tired, we didn't sleep all day, all morning. It's always present, we just recognize it again and again, again and again, until these short moments becomes continuous. Why it becomes continuous? Because it's our natural state, natural state, not cultivated state. It's our natural condition, it's the way we are. Our ability to be of great benefit comes from allowing everything to be as it is, from getting familiar with our thoughts and emotions exactly as they are, not by trying to change them. The suffering of the, vo of the world, whatever we, think we take to be really horrible, it's not that we, when we rest as open intelligence, we think it's really beautiful. But we get to know the depth of the suffering and we have the solution for that. We know exactly the suffering we put ourselves in when we believed in our own thoughts and emotions, right? This is a real violent. This is how we are very harmful for ourselves when we take to be everything so real. We are bad, we are not good enough, I need to be better. You see the world that we put ourselves in, believing in our thoughts and emotions. So when we rest naturally for short moments, and especially when we do the 12 empowerments, we come to see that we want to put an end for that. Because we feel so motivated to change the way we took ourselves to be. It comes only from the recognition. 
of that suffering. And we don't, we don't need to suffer <laughs> at all, even for a moment anymore. Because for, we, when we have the support, when we have short moments of open intelligence, when we have all the, the training, we get to know how to extract the power, the beneficial power of everything, and to be of great benefit to the world. And it starts with us. It starts with our own thoughts and emotions, what we do with ourselves. <coughs> then we know the solution for everything in a very clear way. Like, it's obvious to us. It's obvious, it's obvious like, like the sun outshining, outshining all planets and stars. The bright light is just completely outshining everything without any effort. It's just obvious, <laughs> just like that. Like you know the colors of your eyes, like you know your name. That obviousness, that assurance comes about by gaining confidence in the power of open intelligence. So we really gain confidence in that. You see? And, and the 12 empowerments provide all the support for that, the trainers, the training, the media. Listening to the talks from, from Candice is just confirming that, that we don't need to effort anymore. It's truly amazing. And, uh, you know, we finish the open meeting and we may think, hmm, for sure I, need, I have so many things I need to change. Probably it was just like a glimpse of recognition and yeah, I, I need to still meditate or I still need to do this workshop. Wherever you go, take the short moment with you. You know, see whether or not it's true or not for yourself. See if it works for you to analyze, to change, to fix, to improve yourself and see, even just admit at the results do you really see the results in your everyday life? But constant results, not just like glimpses of recognition. Results ongoing. When you're sad, when you feel challenged, when you feel depressed, when you feel you don't have a harmonious relationship with your family, where you feel moody, where you feel tired, do you see the results of your practice there? If the answer is yes, great, we are happy for you. But here you have really a practice and a whole support to provide you um, with a profound, powerful recognition of open intelligence at all times. So you can really bring it to your life, to your loved ones, to the whole world in, in a very powerful way, in just being as you are, without doing anything. 